Good morning, everyone. This is the fourth episode of the Breakfast Burrito with your hosts, JC Berdine and... And Luis Bautista, with our special guest today being Carla Elizaga. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's such an honor to have you on this show. What an honor. Oh, oh wow. Thank you. You were supposed to have shot this earlier, but you fell asleep the other day. So, yes. You have, you have time for everyone. Thank you very good. much. Anyways, Carla, whenever yes. we think about Carla, we think about coffee. Because you drink a lot of coffee. So, give us a little insight on why you like coffee. Yeah, and what kind of coffee do you like? So yes, go talk. Okay, I drink coffee black. I don't like have any. I don't like having anything else in it. It's okay. I'm at that point where I have to drink it like every day, or else I'm gonna have a migraine. Really? If I don't. Oh, yeah. she's dependent on it. Yes. I oh, am. that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at that point already. I'm not gonna take it any more than like one cup. So yeah, I tried actually for like this quarantine to like stop. Didn't work. Yeah, oh. I'd get a headache and I'd be really cranky and no. I'd piss everyone off. So yeah. Do you drink it? Oh, sorry. When did you start drinking coffee? Like grade 11. I think a little before that. Or there, like that year, a little before that. Like a little bit before grade 11, and then I became dependent on it. Yeah. When do, you, when do you drink coffee? Do you drink it like first thing you wake up in the morning, you drink your coffee? No, okay. You can't drink or like you shouldn't drink coffee on an empty stomach because what? the stomach will become acidic. Hey. And okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, you really shouldn't. And so make sure you, like... I first eat breakfast, like a heavy breakfast, and then I drink coffee. Yeah. If I don't do that, then I'll just be cranky the whole day and my head will hurt. So yeah, guys, don't get to that point. Not every day. Uh, okay. I mean, me, I'm, I don't drink coffee. I exclusively drink water and iced tea. Oh. I don't like iced tea. <laughs> but I don't, I don't see... Like, do you are you dependent on the caffeine? Is that what keeps you from drinking it, or just the taste? I don't see why people like it or like drink it every day. I'm honestly not sure. I think it's also like placebo. Like there are times mm, I don't yeah, yeah. drink coffee and then I forget, and then I'm like, oh shit! But when I remember I didn't drink coffee, then my head really hurts. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's part of your routine. You're addicted. Yeah. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, it just it sucks to be like dependent on something. That's why I just don't even don't make it a routine, guys. So like is there a way that you're supposed to drink coffee? So for example, um I didn't really know how to drink coffee. Like when I whenever I want coffee or when I, whenever I wanna just stay up, I just drink coffee and then that's it. Apparently that's not how you do it. Like my sister told me I make the cup of coffee, then I gulp it down. <laughs> then after a few minutes though, I'm supposed to crash, which I did. Like after the caffeine high, I crashed and then I took a nap for 10 minutes. Then after that, I was awake for 12 hours straight. Is that how you're supposed to do it? <laughs> oh crap, I don't know. <laughs> no, okay, fine. To be fair, that is what I kind of did right now. My body clock is not... Like, my body clock is not fit to be up at, like, 1 a.m. Like, 1, oh, no, 1.30, like, right now. So, I drank coffee. So, I basically, like, did the same thing. But I didn't crash. Like, no, that's never really happened to me yet. But, yeah, it's actually bad to drink it if you're on an empty stomach. But I'm like, whatever. I don't know. I had to stay up, so I drank it anyway. Yeah, it's more of... I drink coffee also because it's more of like a vibe. It's a vibe. Is it an aesthetic? Kinda. I'll admit. Mm-hmm. Really? Fine. I'm, like, I'm such a sucker for that aesthetic. Like, I'm reading something. Coffee cup in the morning or something. You bring a coffee cup to school. A little book to your side. Yeah. Reading with coffee. 
like with the cookie there. Yeah. It's fine. It's aesthetic. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that basic aesthetic. Yeah, you're a basic so girl. It's a lie. I see. I mean, it's good though, right? Hmm? It's good that, you know, you're into coffee and not something else. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the, that's what I'm addicted to. Right, right. Oh, by the way. Oh, no, you can, sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's something like my sister told me. Like, her theory is, is that she doesn't want to be, like, addicted to anything. Like, for example, how I'm addicted to coffee. That's like being addicted to anything else. It's like, mm-hmm. if it's, like, it's an obsession. Yeah. Or, like, or like any drug, it's the same thing. Yeah. Like if I need yeah. it to like, or to like function yeah. in the day, then it's bad. So well, well, well. It seems like you're there. Yeah. Well. Okay. No, nothing else after that. I think I'm gonna stick with coffee. What's your opinion on cold brew? Have you heard of that cold brew? I love that. Oh my gosh, that's what I order at Starbucks all the time. Oh, how is it any different from is it just cold coffee? No, it's not. Okay, um, explain it, okay. please. So, like different kinds of uh, coffee. For example, you have um, a brewed coffee. That's the one you make in the coffee maker, like yeah. the one. Mm-hmm. And then yes. that's usually hot. And then you have americano. That's espresso with hot water that makes it hot. But cold brew. Uh huh. Place like. The beans, it's usually grinded already. You place the beans in a bag, in a filtered bag, mm-hmm. and then you fill a, like a mason, any so jar. It's tea. With cold water. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like tea. And then it's left there. Oh. Cold brew, because it's brewed cold. <laughs> and then you put yeah. it in the fridge. Oh. For about 48 that's, hours. That's not I cool. didn't know that. I thought it was just coffee that you put in the fridge. Sounds okay. Fun. Okay. It's like coffee in prepared in kind of a tea style because you have to wait. You have to wait. Yeah, it's like tea style, but except for steeping it for five minutes, it's 48 hours. Amazing. That's cool. Like okay. But I don't know for me. I think it would be stronger. At Starbucks, it's like, what, 120 pesos? Yeah. I mean, I tried. Calories, apparently. Mm. I tried mm. cold brew before, and it just tasted like watered down hot coffee with ice. That's what I, that's what I tasted because I was like, "Really, this is what cold brew tastes like." I didn't expect was it. it. Coffee oh, coffee bean. What? Wait, the one in coffee bean, the one like in the, it looks like it's in a medicine bottle. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Huh. Oh, what? I really like that one. I don't and- know. That didn't taste that watered down. The one in Starbucks usually kind of does. The one in coffee oh. bean. I like the one in coffee bean. What if you heated cold brew? Will it taste <laughs> just like regular coffee? <laughs> does it defeat the purpose? What? <laughs> Wait, can you repeat the question? I laugh because you raised your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just so like it, it's a thing, okay. So we wouldn't have to interfere with anyone. <laughs> but Sorry. what happens? <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but what happens if you heat cold brew? Is it just regular coffee? <laughs> yes. Amazing. No, but you can. St- well, I mean, theoretically, you can still call it cold brew because it was brewed cold. Oh, yeah. No, if you combine two methods, it's just warm brew. If it's hot, it's cold. It's warm. You can't say it's warm brew because it's <laughs> brewed cold. Okay, yeah. So it's definitely reasonable if I was like, oh, miss, can I get a warmed up cold brew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if, you like, yeah. what if you like the taste of cold brew, but you want it kind of hot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, no. The, I think the main reason they like cold brew things is because when you, say, have like hot, like a, brew, a hot brewed coffee and then you put ice in it, 
it gets diluted. Oh and, yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. I get. I get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does make sense, though. I dare you. Please do that. <laughs> yes, I will. Okay. On the topic of coffee, can you rank all the, like the common coffee, coffee shops? Or what do you call it? Coffee places. That are like, yeah, common place. Okay. Am I just okay? Am I just ranking them based on their coffee or like overall? Overall. Mm. I hope coffee projects not in your list. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Okay, I, I was just kind of thinking about that. <laughs> I mean, it's owned by the Villiers, and yeah. Fuck them, bro. Ah, okay, I did not know that. Yeah. Am I gonna be like? Okay. Do, do I have yeah. to? Be yeah. 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 Of course, everything is political. <laughs> Nothing is censored in this podcast. <laughs> okay, crap. Okay, let's just okay, let's remove. Okay, I'm gonna rank it. Mm, best coffee I've had, craft. It's really underrated. What? Where? What coffee? Craft brewery. Craft. <laughs> okay. Where? Oh, you know that. You know that place. Where? The one like you know Esteban Abada. You know that. Yes. They sell craft coffee. Oh, really? Ellen the Blackbird. Yes. Hey, that's the name. Did I get it right? Yeah, yeah. It's beside the two. Yes, that beside the yeah. two. Near El Chapo's, yeah. Oh, that cat, yes, yeah. You want, like, their serving for the coffee is really small, but the flavor is really good. Craft coffee is really good. That's what they serve it there. I think that's number one in coffee. Next is, oh man, what did I say? Coffee bean. Probably coffee bean because I also like their food, but it's overpriced. Yeah, it's overpriced. Yeah, and a lot of the things are just. I love the salad there. The salad? The Which... Greek salad. No, oh, the cheese, feta. Wait, there's no eggs ben either. I'm surprised, but. Was, is that good? I remember. I think I tried it before and I didn't like it all that much. It's good. Quintessential breakfast. I'll s- mm, beside your breakfast burrito, of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 Star- oh, no. What about yeah. UCC? Yeah, what do you think? I forgot about UCC. I love that place. It's just that I never go there. because it's. Yeah, awesome. I've never tried. <laughs> it's good. Price. It's like Japanese coffee. It's okay. Oh, wow. Actually, like, I love the variety when it comes to UCC. That's what I love. Like, yeah, of, yeah. And their food is good. It's just, yeah, I never eat there unless I'm with my parents. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. you definitely there. It's just, it's hard to rank it overall. How about yeah. Sunny's? What do you think about Sunny's Cafe? I've Sunny. never tried Sunny's. Me too. I always thought it was just, you know, you go there for Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah it's true. True. It's true. But to be fair, their food is actually good. Oh, okay. I think that you just have to... I'm not... Was it? Is it reasonably priced? I'm not sure. But they do accept Zomato Gold. If I don't... Yeah. <laughs> if I <recall>. Okay. <laughs> Value, value. Yeah. Sunny's Cafe. Okay, I've never really tried their coffee. But their food's actually quite good. I, I would mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, okay, I see it now. What Bao said. He looked like grade 11 Carla. Okay. <laughs> Do you still have your circle glasses? Huh? No, I don't. You know, I lost. I keep losing things. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've- I've lost two of them. And now, yeah, I think yeah, I've lost two of them. And I keep losing water jugs as well. Yeah, same. I've lost yeah, two in school. Two? I have lost yeah. four. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Look, Did I don't you know steal it too? Huh? Oh. Did you just leave it? I don't know. Okay. I've like, 
I have no idea. I'm really UP kasi, not. UP. Yo, no, okay, we don't do that here. No. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm never buying a Hydro Flask because I'm just gonna lose it. Mm. Oh. Hey, what's the, what was the first jug? You, what was the most expensive jug you've lost? Okay, I bought a Hydro Flask. A, no, it wasn't a Hydro Flask. In canteen. Um, Omega. That's a pretty, that is a, actually a pretty good brand, but and I lost it. Yeah, I have one of those. Yeah, it's good. Oh, you recommended to me also before. What was it, it is just 700. Yeah. Oh, bad. Bad. It works. Mine, mine was 500. And it was like, I forgot, like one liter. No, all Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two ounces, I think. Yeah. Anyway. The one I lost, the most expensive one I lost, was one two. It's I got oh, it. No. It's a it's one of those collapsible water jugs. Oh shoot! Oh yeah. So nice. White girl water jug. Oh no. Look, is that a white girl water jug, or are you saying that's because I own it? Yeah, I just own it. You own it, and yeah, you give off white girl vibes. Slight, slight, you do. No, because. Because if you think about Carla, you think about white Crayola, you know, during conjunction. White. Useless. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just at the end of the box. You know it's there. You don't want to lose it, but you don't use it. <laughs> yeah. You recognize it, but you don't use it. Yeah. That's Carla. Thank you. That, that's what the that's white girl is. Yeah. Okay, it's just Okay, no, it's just the coffee thing. It's just my coffee. Okay. No, I don't think uh, that's the only you... thing that I will uh, What's like, your favorite movie? Let's see if you're basic. Let's talk about the basic carlos. A few guess... good men. I've watched it so many times this quarantine. I don't know. Just... Love Rosie. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was book. I read the book. Better than the movie. Oh, this is a book, books, pala. Oh, really? Okay. What is a book? What? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't read books. Yeah, we don't read books. Okay, but Love Rosie, it was. I like the way it was written. Okay, the story is kind of. Was it written in British? <laughs> <laughs> How do you write this in British? I don't know, mate. <laughs> That's Australian, man. What the hell? Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> Bollocks. Bollocks, mate. No, wait. How you say What's that? the. Where is. Um, Good eye, mate. What? Nah. What's. Where, where is. Top of. Top of the morning. Top of the morning, too, you yeah, know? Hello, yeah. love. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for the movie. Yeah, that's so familiar. Okay. Anyways, Carla, yes. since you're like a basic white girl, I bet Ugh. you're into books, right? Right? He's into books. Mm-hmm. Shut she up. Is. <laughs> Coffee and books, right? Mm-hmm. So your main hobbies. Gonna, the Pinterest like... girl, yeah. Hey, sh- <laughs> oh, that's another thing, you know, for this like quarantine i just discovered how to use pinterest i love it you, yeah obviously wow. obviously come on Wait, is you it make everything mood boards what <laughs> no not mood boards okay um carlo what color is your pencil case gray oh not pink anymore really changed. It's, that broke that was so overused i used it for 2 years i'm so proud of myself i didn't lose it wow okay okay no, because you are. It's not a test anymore. We just know. Uh, you you just are. And you have to be proud of it, you know. Really? Okay. Um. If you want to prove you're not a white girl, talk to us in Filipino, right now. Come on, you study in UP. Oh, <laughs> UP five. Honor and excellence. Yeah, that's uh. So, ayun, kumusta naman yung quarantine mo? Okay naman. Ano ang ginagawa mo sa bahay habang quarantine, Carla? 
I'm good. <laughs> ano? 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 <laughs> Ika namin na iintindihan, Carla. Oh. <laughs> sige na, sige na. No. Uh, Come on, one sentence lang. Hmm? Just try. I really don't want to have this like record. It's okay. Come on, do it for our listeners. <laughs> it's probably one or two, but yeah. <laughs> okay, no, okay. I, I cringe at myself enough when I hear like a recording of my voice, you know, so. Me too. Yeah. But you have to live with it because you know, you love yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Love yourself. So, yeah. Huh? Sorry? Yeah, she can't. She can't speak Filipino, guys, listeners. I can, I can. But you don't prefer to. It's okay. Okay, we respect that. It's fine. It's fine. Basic white girl. Do you own a? Do you own a metal straw? Yeah, like a metal straw set. Oh, there you go. Oh, she does, and the it's a mason jar. Oh God. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Embarrassing. Do you own a long champ bag and do you bring it to school every day? No. Okay. Okay. No, because mm-hmm. that's Tita. Na. It's Tita. Not yeah. basic. No, not long. Not, not long champ. Uh, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you that. What else? What's the basic way? How many? Do you have more sleeveless tops than t-shirts? No. What no, else? I don't. Basically, hmm. I still have a lot of. I can't think of any. Letters. Do you plan on getting an edgy tattoo or like just a star somewhere? Like I feel like you the tattoo. Actually, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a tattoo. Really? No, really. I think I, maybe someday. Really? What I mean, would you get? Yeah. What would you get? Me? Yeah. Um. Cause. I'm super like I'm a super Frank Ocean fan, so I probably get some like this yeah. album blonde. You know, the I don't Jesus know. Jesus Christ! No, but no. He's a Katini boy. To that. No, how is it basic? It's just it's one of my albums that you know I give it to love. I swear, any uh, every Atenean boy cries to blonde. It's good. Like me, I don't cry to blonde. I savor it. Oh yeah, basic white girl. You have playlists, right? Of lots of songs that you like. That are... Oh god. Yeah, she does. They do. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Yes. Guilty. Um. How about you, JC? What tattoo would you get? Um. Because I'm edgy, I'm probably just gonna have a barcode on my neck. Wow, that's edgy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's basic. And you edgy. can actually scan it. And then when you scan it, it's just gonna be baby wipes. <laughs> yeah. Swipe. But then, I don't know who, who I heard it from, but ever since I was little, I've always had this thought in my head that you shouldn't get tattoos because would you want a bumper sticker if you owned a Lamborghini? Wow. <laughs> That's fine. Uh. But yeah, it's just probably something my conservative parents told me. <laughs> yeah, my parents wouldn't allow me as well. Yeah, I don't think our parents would allow us. But I've I've yeah. I've seen I've seen one of one of our one of our batchmates has this tattoo that I really really found cool. Because you remember we had a lesson during grade eleven about a pipe. Yeah. Because yeah. below it it says this is not a pipe. Uh huh. It was it was on his back. Cause it was a it was a tattoo of a pipe. Just in French, so but this is not a pipe. So basically, it was a critique. <laughs> it was a critique of art. Oh back yeah, in the I day. remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, right? yeah. So, so it's like the right amount of pretentious, but still you have to understand <laughs> it to know what he's referencing. So it's like a cool tattoo. Yeah, cool. that is quite pretentious. I mean, what Carla, do you have, Carla? Yeah, what do you have? I wouldn't. Ever. I were to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh man. Five hundred days of summer, like. 
something from that movie. No. A, a music what? note? Or a quote. <laughs> a quote. It's the thing about pain. It demands to be felt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll probably get... True, it, it, it's fine. It's kind of white girl, but, you know, something... A star? Like, no, like, not, not a star. A sun. Not a sun. <laughs> like a... Three stars and a sun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I haven't really given much thought to this, but yeah, something like nature. A tree, mm. with a plant emoji. Why am I thinking? I'm thinking of like leaves for some reason. Oh, like autumn leaves falling. Wow. Oh <laughs> so basic. I mean, it's not about that. Either. Yeah. This is the first thing that came in my head, but like, now something. I think something has to happen. Like. To so, it's not it. still life; it's motion. <laughs> wow! Yeah. I mean, Carlos' skin is the perfect canvas for a, you know, a tattoo. <laughs> that's that's creepy, but okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's white, you know, it's it's easy to like color, oh, yeah. right? So, like for once, the white Crayola has meaning and use. <laughs> Ah, see, it's just maybe it's not a crit. Maybe I'm not the Crayola. I'm just I'm the page. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. Drop the mic. Do you guys know those Japanese tattoos? The ones the with the, the ones like people get on their back. The yakuza, the ones with the really big ones, those with the yeah, dragons and uh, mythology ones. Yeah, I just oh, watched. Oh uh, yeah. I, I watched an explained it's on Netflix an explained video about tattoos. It was actually quite interesting. Yeah. Okay, so can you explain to us? Oh man. <laughs> That's one thing I remember from it. But yeah, like in Japan, for like tattoos always meant like that you're a criminal. Yeah, like the Yakuza yeah, Yakuza, thing. yeah. Like the Yakuza thing. So when the government started going really bad, people always wanted to like distinct themselves, distinguish themselves like from the government. So they'd also put tattoos. But in the States, it meant something else. It was like a symbol of success or experience for sailors. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. when they go to different places. And yeah, so like there, it talks about like different types of like, or what tattoos mean in like other places. And it's interesting. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Carla. So, what else? What What are your favorite books? Because you're a book file. I don't know a book file. What's it called? Book file. Bibliophile. Bibliophile. Book file. Favorite books. Okay. The Bible, of course. Mm, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. Actually, you know, this, this like, quarantine, I've actually started, like, I've tried reading it. Like, the Bible. Like, from, I don't know. Back to back. From Genesis. I've started with it. I'm, like, chapter something of Genesis. Wow. Wow. So you might become a nun after what, reading everything. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm not Catholic, bro. <laughs> or, oops. What? You're not? <laughs> oops. I'm not. My family's Christian. Wait, you're not I'm, Catholic? I'm Louise, Carla. Oh, didn't you say... Huh? <laughs> you, wait, you're not, you're Catholic. not a Catholic? I'm not. No, she's, like, she's the part of the... I didn't know. Like, I told you guys that before. You didn't you, know that? You had the brochure. Did oh. I show you the brochure? I mean, I just knew you were part of uh, Victory. Victory. Were you? Oh, CCF, it was CCF. Oh, CCF. oh yeah, CCF. Yeah. Yeah, I go there. I didn't know you were not Catholic. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Oh my God! So this is me going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think yeah. that's how it works. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, no. I'm not sure, actually. You know. Okay, wait. Sorry, my favorite books. Yeah. As of now, I've been getting into autobiographies 
which is really interesting. I just recent like okay. Mm. Wow. The last book I read that I really enjoyed was Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. It's yeah. the story of the creator of Nike. Whoa. Really cool. I really liked it. That's cool. Yeah, I really got like lost in the book. It was really nice. Also, do you have a fun fact about Nike or something? Fun fact about Nike. Actually, what was really interesting to me was because we see like Nike as one of those established brand, brands. Yeah. Like you see it alongside something like Adidas or what are other brands like Puma or like those kinds of brands. But then how it started actually, like in the 19, what, 70s? I think 1970s. It was only Adidas and Puma that was there. And then this, yeah. and then the guy who started out with Nike it started so small like he just wanted to sell shoes like his concept was he wanted to sell japanese shoes in the states oh, and then, okay. then on, like nike just started with a few guys who really loved the running like just a few running geeks wanting to sell shoes mm-hmm. like that was it they would make their own stuff and I mean, it really starts from scratch. And like for me to think like how businesses can start this way, it's really interesting to like unravel. And the name Nike. Nike. It was never Nike. <laughs> and Nike. Like, it's the god, right? God of, it's a Roman god or something. Yeah, it's from Athena Nike. Like that's the full name. Oh. So, yeah, and then it was actually never supposed to be called Nike. Phil Knight, the CEO of the time, wanted to call it something like Dimension Six, but one of his wow. <laughs> yeah, oh. he was so convinced of the of the name, but everyone else hated it. Yeah. And then one of like one of his coworkers, it the name Nike came to him in a dream. Wow, and he called it Nike. That's- it's a cool story. Yeah, it's really that was a really good book. I'd recommend it as an autobiography. How about also oh, Trevor Noah's? Yeah, Born a Crime. Oh. It's hella nice. Cool. Yeah, he had a, apparently he had a very storied past. Trevor Noah. Yo, his past was so colorful. Yeah. He's a fun guy. Okay, okay, wrong term with colorful. Oh. <laughs> <Just unfortunate. laughs> supposed to be dark. <laughs> yes, is it? Never is mind. It? Um, can you remove that? No, color in a good way. Eventful, eventful life. That's like a very, okay, that was insensitive. Yeah, I know. Very, very eventful. <laughs> we didn't see it that way, Carla. You saw it that way. I think it's your fun TV. Okay, I'm <laughs> how people would interpret things. <laughs> It's not like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who would get offended at this point. No so. one. I mean, yeah, no one would be listening at this point, honestly. Come on, guys, be positive. But <laughs> talk as if you know. No, you you got to assume people will listen. Because, yeah. well, how about fiction? What do you? Because you autobiographies are nonfiction. What are the like fiction books that have like, made you like finish the book in like a day or like, two days? Maybe you want to finish it fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, not I can't think of one that made me want to finish it like in one day. But one fiction book like just came to mind, Pachinko. Oh. Um, yeah, and it basically takes you like through a saga or of generations of Korean families. And it's historical fiction. And it was really interesting like to see how values would change per generation and then you get to see like what love like for example what love or what work is or what it means to like raise a family and how that changes like per time it was interesting oh, i really like the book okay. Deep. and a little life that's another fiction book that was really like hella deep and it was like dark but like, you learn a lot from, I learned a lot from it also. What it was a, very emotional. I would a like give a disclaimer to anyone who would read that. It's quite dark, but you know, 
a lot of feelings. Okay, what what else? Like other fiction books? Those are the first two that come to mind. I will look at my shelf right now. Just to Okay. That's cool. well, it's not a library yet, it's just a shelf. I thought you mm-hmm. read so many books already. Not I wouldn't say so many. I mean the ones you've mentioned before are like books I've never heard of. But that's pretty cool that you're like reading you know, books from different places and to describe different yeah. cultures well, and stuff. I, you know, actually, the usual books I hear about, every time I read, like, I read them because everyone's talking about them, but then I don't really like it for some reason. Like, I'm yeah. always underwhelmed or something. So you dig for something but, deeper? Not really deeper. Okay, an author that I don't really relate with is Murakami. Really? Yeah, it's too weird. Like, yeah, I agree. Too, it's so abstract. I'm like, huh? No, because he's more tailored, apparently. I read. Um, mm. His female representation in his books is kind of male centric, if you could say that. Apparently, yeah. it leads to the male fantasy, and it's, that's why maybe some. Yeah, it's like there's just a lot of sex, and I yeah. just. Like, oh, the... I didn't know that. Norwegian Wood. I, I, have you, I think you've read Norwegian Yo, Wood. I've read, like, I've read, read Norwegian Wood. The one with the word pinball in it. I've read Kafka on the Shore. Well, I had tried reading one Q84, the, the thick one. I oh. Say. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't try reading that yet. I tried reading the Wind Up Bird Chronicle, but I lost the book. Oh man, Sad. that was a tragic time. Yeah. It is. Do you have you seen the book? It's hella thick. I don't know how I lost it. Yeah, but yeah, I lost. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, but he. I don't really relate to his books a lot. They're too weird for me. Yeah, I feel really uncultured because, for example, I didn't really like Kafka on the Shore, but when people talk about it, it's. No, I mean, and I'm just like, I didn't get it. Maybe they're not as book files as you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's either... You like just... it or you hate it? Huh? You either well, like it or you hate it. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't love it that much. Have you heard of Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace? Is that a really big book? Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, tell us about it. It's a big ass book. It's like that thick. Bigger than my hand. I don't know. Basically it's uh, it's like it's like a a book about many things and they're yeah. So for our listeners out there, uh Bao just referred to the book as being thick almost close to his face. So yes, it's quite a thick book. Anyway, go on. Mm-hmm. It's basically like some of the pages have footnotes that are as long as a whole page. And it's just about his inner thoughts and like there are multiple stories that interlace with each other. Apparently, it's a really good read, but you have to get the physical copy. And you have to read it, but it's really fun. It makes you laugh and cry and smile. Yeah, nice. it's a book recommendation. Have you read it? No, no, obviously not. I heard it was good, so I no, I tried. I saw I saw a copy in the library, so I tried to read it, but there were so many footnotes. And as a computer science major, I don't like reading, so Ooh. Mm-hmm. I mean Actually, it look it looks interesting, I'm not gonna lie. It looks interesting, but I don't have the motivation to read. So yeah, just a recommendation. I want to, okay, speaking of computer science, I, I kind of want to learn how to code. Yeah, that's like the thing I've been like mulling over. Don't you know how? I thought I can we did. Well, yeah, like yeah. No, but it's I want to learn intro. how to do it like well. Like, oh. You code. Huh? Like, I saw your final project and you, you can control the character and it walks around. Another one. Oh, no, I think, I think learning. Huh? 
I di- I died with that one, the one JC said. <laughs> <laughs> I was so crammed. I'm not gonna. Wait, okay, what happened? Yeah. What was JC's project? Oh, well, my project. It was just, uh, it's like episodes. <laughs> you know oh. that? What's that? You know the game episodes? No. Nope. Oh, it's just um, how do you explain it? It's a sequence game, and then you're you're a character. So it's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, yeah, parang ganun. And it's just a multiple choice type. Like, oh, what do you want to say? Hello, my love. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Uh, so it's nice. It branches out. Oh. I mean, coding is like, it's like a really big umbrella term because there's so many things under coding. And if you really want to learn how to code, there's so many courses online, but you have to find the right one. And I don't think you should mull into what language you want to de- learn at first, but you know, just the basic ones. But if you really want to learn how to code, you have to look for what you want to do. Like, for example, if you want to make a calculator, you can learn how to do it in Java. Or if you want to make... Actually, you can make anything in Java, but there are many things. So Java's, yeah, Java's I, know, I know there are different ones, like for like, if you want to make games or an app. Yeah, you can use anything. Different apparently. codes that are like, yeah. your different languages like pro- tailored to that thing. It's hard. I are mean, it's online, not... Do you think, yeah, do you, there think are. you can online course it? Yeah, yeah, you can. Because there are many um, apps developed by people who haven't gone to a single class of computer science. So it's oh. easy. Yeah, it's pretty fun. But... You have to like. It's fun if your code works, but I really think you need help sometimes. So yeah, it's fun to learn with other people. But coding, if it, it it's like math, you know, it looks hard, but when you try to like get into it and you understand it, then it gets it's easy really and fun. It's just satisfying when it like yeah, works. Together. Exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. It. yeah. And you run it and it builds. Yeah. And it's no bugs. Yes. Yeah. What did we use in Emptech? I really like that. C sharp. Yeah, C sharp. We had the Visual Studio Code. It was, just, it was like this really it looks really I don't know Cody. Yeah, hacky. Hacky. Yeah. Hacker man. So of course it's online. A... You can learn that one. Yeah, I just wanna like understand. I find it so cool. Like when people see this really big code, but then when they read it, like they understand it, and then they see like something wrong with it. I don't yeah. know how to. That's so interesting. You have to stay in the computer for what, eight hours a day. That's why I do. It's fun. So, like, as a computer science major, does it have an effect on the way you see games? <laughs> no, like, like when you play GTA Five, do you ever think, na damn, this must be so hard to code? Yeah, yeah. Because apparently, GTA Five like took six years to develop. Yeah. So there are many teams all around the world developing it. And yeah, I think it's really hard because there's so much content you could devour. Mm-hmm. And it's part of me from my major, from my lessons, I could understand how this would work and that. So yeah, it made me yeah. have some insight about it. And But yeah, it's a pretty hard job. Yes. She doesn't what is know GTA what, 5? Yeah. What, you don't know GTA 5? Do you see, care to explain? Oh my god, you don't, you don't, GTA, do you know GTA? You wanna give me time to Google it? It's a game, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. I mean, she's a basic white girl, you expect her to know video games. Okay. I mean, it it's an so all time classic her. game, like, I mean, it's you have a BSD. Uh, no. Okay, fine, okay, I'll put it. Um, she reads books, bro, come on. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> Jo- okay, no, never mind. I reg- I forget. Forget it. Forget I said that. Okay, so GTA Mario 5 Mario. is... Uh, That's all I know. Is it a role-playing game? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's third person. So you're just playing as a guy, and then the guy just goes around, runs around. And it's called GTA 5 because your main... It's called GTA Grand Theft Auto because your main way of transportation is just stealing cars from people. 
So yeah, that that's it. I mean, you can do so many things. You can drive. You can drive on the sidewalk and kill people. You can use a motorcycle and drive on the sidewalk yeah. and kill people. Maybe you can use a tank and kill, and kill people. Have you guys yeah. ever considered like video games or like esports as a career? No, we're bad. I'm bad. Sorry, but the, no, I'm. Have you I'm, thought about? It? Yeah, it's fun. No. I'm I'm deep into esports because like I follow a certain scene. I don't want to talk about it because it's kind of nerdy. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I'm into esports. Yeah, we get that. Um, one more thing we want to talk about, Carla, is oh, you were the first person I thought of it was a manic manic pixie dream girl. You like. Because you're a basic white What do you think about that? Yeah. Okay, wait, no. I've heard the term before, but like, can you define it more? JC, can you define it? Well, Manic Pixie Dream Girl, it's a, it's a character archetype. First appeared in the movie Elizabeth Town in 2004. Do you know that movie? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's just that girl. The, the super ideal pretty girl in 500 Days of Summer. And oh, okay, that helps a lot. 500 Days of Summer. Yeah, and Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the girl there. I watched that movie. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. I knew I'd get that reaction from you. Wow, ah. she's not a manic pixie dream girl. Yeah, she's she's like just a basic girl. And it's, it's actually <laughs> weird that Bao's calling you a manic pixie dream no, girl. No, because for the, for the listeners, when we first started grade 11, she had bangs, and then when we asked her what her favorite thing was, she said basketball. She's like, what? Is this a real person? What? <laughs> no, let me, if from my point of view, she's like, oh, mm-hmm. let's watch the NBA finals. And like, every other girl there was like, not watching. And whenever we asked her, she had, whenever we were near, she had this air of mystery, quote unquote. Because, you know, yeah. it, was, it was still senior high, and she this had is bangs. So, this is and so weird. Basically, Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I really wanted to watch the finals because I had a bet uh, with a uh, cousin. Uh, well, I mean, I really wish I was more well-versed because I can't say that I know a lot about it, like basketball, but I really I admire the sport a lot. I just haven't really deep-dived yeah. into it. Mm-hmm. JC, what were you saying? Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, Manic Pixie Dream Girl is basically this girl it was an archetype that was created for the male main character to progress and discover his own destiny or something like that and basically it's weird because uh, you're putting all your expectations and your idealistic yeah. your ide- ideals or whatever you want in a in a character in a person and that person's perfect for you mm-hmm. so I didn't see her that way. I saw her just like a stereotypical. I saw her face value. Oh, yeah. She looked like a gothic, <laughs> okay. okay. You know, she'd wear a choker and go to like bars and. Yeah, you were different. But I'm yeah, you were different. You seemed. Okay, 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 wait, but then okay, we learned okay. that you're basic. <laughs> yeah. That's the. I'm so glad you saw past that, you know. Okay. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Like, like if ever we'd see you Don't outside. You'd wear Doc Martens, fishnet uh, socks, and eyeliner, like thick eyeliner. That's, I don't know. You'd have the rock. I need someone yeah. to put on eyeliner. That is an art, by the way. Yeah, you know, it is. Getting it mm-hmm. like, even on both eyes. Makeup is an art. One, you, one you're not well-versed in. Sorry. But yeah, um... Wait, what am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> no, it's fine. You don't give off the vibe anymore. It dis- the vibe me? disappeared when you stopped yeah. wearing the Harry Potter glasses. Did she had really your circle glasses that made her look yeah. Yeah. different. Yeah. Now you're just any other white girl out there. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's yeah. good because you blend in, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just like white crayon and a paper. I love how you connected that. Okay, I'm gonna know what this is. <laughs> nice job, nice job. 
full circle. I mean, it's not that you don't notice it, but the texture is there. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's where we close. That you may seem insignificant, but you still have a mark on the paper. No, no. And you you can you can actually be significant in other types of paper like brown or black yeah, paper. Yeah, like black paper or red paper. Sand so. paper. Sand paper, right? So you just so not maybe, maybe, Yeah. Yeah, so maybe you fit in more in a different world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not long but for this world for, anymore, for, Farva. For as long as we're stuck in this world, it's not going to happen. It's just a yeah. texture. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You just like, at, least, at least it's still there yeah. yeah so I guess that's all we have for today and it's actually a ritual for every episode that we relate what we talked about to a breakfast burrito like for example how would you relate coffee to a breakfast burrito Carly yes no, coffee it's not breakfast without coffee. Wow. So it oh, wouldn't be boy. a breakfast burrito. Smart. There were, if it wasn't served with a little coffee. Mm-hmm. How about, um, how about, how do you relate a breakfast burrito to books? Yes. Have you read the novel that featured the breakfast burrito or something? Or Mexican cuisine. What makes a burrito a breakfast one? Egg. Egg. I see. <laughs> None? No, haven't come across. Okay. okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how I think a breakfast burrito is related to a book in the way that a breakfast burrito has lots of layers. <laughs> The way a book a book has lots of pages. He's, he said this different. before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you know, you listen. But yeah. Book. You know. You can you can hold both in one hand. It's easy to hold. Easy mm, one hand. Yeah. Right? Yes, that's true. For, that's portability. True. Yeah. How about so, yeah, sorry. Maybe, you know, if I were to write an autobiography in the future, I'd mention this podcast, Breakfast Burrito. So, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. What else do we talk about? Um, tattoos, maybe? Oh, that would be a good tattoo. Actually. The thumbnail of the show. Yeah, yeah, because... Yeah, I actually like it, yeah. It's a good tattoo because it's a personal thing that if people from... You know, when people look at it and like, why is it burrito? And you know what it's about because it's your yeah. tattoo. Yeah. Where would you have the tattoo? Is the question. Yeah. Maybe ankle. I don't have it in ankle. Oh, maybe my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> Typical Carla to understand the joke. Ankle. Yeah. Said ankle. And then I said, no. I want to tattoo my aunt. Do you get it? Uncle. Aunt. Uncle. Aunt. Aunt. Uncle. Aunt. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Cool, I you. She's the real pal. There you go. Um, last week. How do you, Carla? I think Carla should answer this one. How does yes. being a basic white girl relate to being a breakfast burrito? Um, breakf- bre- the wrapper of breakfast burritos are white. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Weren't they? Yeah, they are. I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Maybe. Some. Yeah, the wrapping is as plain as a paper, like my basic personality. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So is that it? So yes, um, dear listeners, we have reached the end of this episode. And if you actually reach this episode and you hear me talking right now, please do comment. And we just um, can you Give please comment? Can you please comment? Um, 
Mars, the planet Mars. So it's like a code now. We know you made it this far. And then if you comment Mars, we're gonna give you a special gift because it means so much to us that you reached it. You reached this far. We love you. So yes, we love you, dear. Also listener. feedback. If you, if you give feedback, you know. Yeah. We highly appreciate it. Anyways, Carla, before we end the podcast, would you like to give a few shout outs? Anyone? Yes. A few shout outs. Yeah. To anyone who might be listening to this. Yeah. Or like yes. your, your sister, maybe. Well, hello, dear sister. I just want to thank you very much for not waking up during this whole podcast. And I'm sorry if I ever did. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Okay. Anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you for listening. We love you. Thank you for listening. We love you. Bye. Bye.